So quickly, what are some of the methods lenders use to work with at-risk homeowners? A refinance. Basically, usually, if you are not behind on your loan, if, you're, if you have income, number one, if you have steady income coming in, and you're not behind, and, you, and the property value hasn't fallen, you know, an extreme amount, you may be able to have a, uh, to work a refinance. So, you know, some people, their main issue is that they had a subprime mortgage or a mortgage that just wasn't good for them, and it's at 12% interest right now. I'll tell you, you know, most banks are 5%, are 5.5%, so something around there. Right now, you shouldn't be paying 12% on a mortgage right now. It just shouldn't be happening unless you're stuck somehow. So there's ways to, to get that interest rate down, which in turn can lower your payment. But again, it's harder to get into refinance if you already leave. A loan forbearance, you know, so you may be able to talk a little bit about this more than I can. It's hard, it doesn't happen too much. Yeah. But, but in theory, you know, sometimes a lender will say, you know, we know what's going on with your, your situation. We're gonna kind of hit pause on that loan and, and we're going to say, you know, the next two months, get back on your feet. We'll take those two months that you owe and put it back on the two end. Two months is nothing. Yeah. It may be nothing, but it may be something to a lot of people. If you're one month behind, two months can do a lot for you. Two months can, can do a lot for you. Not a lot of loan, uh, lenders are doing that. Just, I think just because of the way that they're arranged, more are using uh, repayments or modifications. A repayment plan, maybe if you're late one month, They'll just take that, you know, and it was just a, a small little hiccup in your in your income or something happened where you just couldn't make that one that month. They may just say, you know what, we'll just deal with this through a repayment plan. Over the next three months, just make up, just make, you know, pay a third over top of that and we'll get you caught up. So that, that is one way to deal with it. The most common that we're seeing right now is just a, a full out loan modification. So a loan modification is when the lender will actually look at your mortgage. They may take that interest rate down uh, from if you're at 12 percent, and you say, "I just can't pay this 12 percent." You know, and no, I shouldn't be paying this 12 percent. They may say, "Okay, well, we'll we'll modify the loan from that that adjustable rate that keeps going up and up and up into a fixed rate loan that's more manageable, and, and you know, at least you can project what's going to happen with uh, with what you own. Or they could modify the terms. They could modify the the, the period of time that you're paying back that loan. So there's a lot of different ways that loan modification can kind of work. It's, it's, there's uh, some flexibility built in there. And again, that's what one of the things that, our, that the counselors really try to focus on is how do we put this package together to modify this loan in such a way that it's going to work for the lender because the lender should get their money. Let's, let's, let's be clear about that. You know, you, you are responsible for your mortgage, bottom line. You signed, you have to take responsibility for that first. They should get their money, but maybe they should get a little less than they initially agreed to because of the change in circumstances. So we try to find that, that common ground that works for them, works for you, and everybody can work. A loan modification often is a good way to do that. Excellent. And Teddy worked through some of the timeline that's involved in that one we discussed before. But what is the program? You know, you're gonna, you hear about it a lot, but what does it actually mean? Well, it's a program that was developed um, really in response to what was going on in Pittsburgh and, and the steel industry in the 60s and 70s when all those industries were closing down. And they had just so many people were going through kind of the same thing. You know, such a massive job loss, loss of income. They couldn't pay their mortgage. Homes were going up in the foreclosure on massive scales. And the, and the state said, we need to do something about this to stretch this process out so people can try to get back on their feet and not have massive you know, devastation of neighborhoods because of all these properties going up at once. And you know what happens when you know, a lot of houses are vacant in one area. And nobody has to you know, explain that, but that's, this, is, this whole pro program was really developed to, to kind of fight that and, and do just what Teddy described earlier, draw the process out a little bit even if you apply for HEMAP, which I'm sure some of you have and you've gotten turned down, that's normal. The, the state only has X amount of dollars. They may have, you know, say $5 million. It's a random number for the whole program. And they have, you know, $25 million or $30 million worth of applications. 
there's only so much they can do. So it, your, your application may be as good as the next person, but they have to make a decision somehow. If you don't get picked, at, if nothing else, the process has been drawn out another 90 days at the minimum, so you can buy some time to get back on your feet. You can take one of two forms, either a single payment to bring the mortgage to date or assistance for up to 24 months. So if you are selected for the HEMAP program and you're approved, uh, basically what, hap what can happen is the, the um, state of Pennsylvania and the Commonwealth will, will make a payment to your lender for what you owe. So they'll bring you totally up current all at once so you're totally current, you're clear, but now you owe that money to the state. It's a loan. It's not a, it's not a grant. It's not a, anything that, that's just free. It's a loan, but it's a manageable loan. So they bring that totally uh, up current, and you can kind of start over. It's also assistance for up to 24 months. It's a possibility where, um, you know, if, if, if the situation warrants it, it works better for you to receive monthly payments um, of that over a, a couple year period, um, that's another option. And it's a loan. It that brings you current, but you owe the state the money. They put a lien on your Well, yeah, you know, we'll just keep going. You know, HEMAP, Homeowners Emergency Mortgage Assistance Program, is through the Pennsylvania Housing Finance Authority. My little spiel, this Hope for Homeowners, the federal program, a good chunk of it is modeled after Pennsylvania's HEMAP program. Because HEMAP has a track record, of, a proven track record of doing some good things for homeowners, the, the federal program is, is modeled after it. If you're approved, the loan goes to closing within 60 days after the decision. If you're denied, you can appeal. Um, you must pay a mandatory monthly payment of at least $25 or up to 40% of your net income. So they're, they're, that monthly payment on, on that HEMAP loan has to be at least $25. And so they set it you know, fairly low because you know, they're, they don't want you to go back into foreclosure over this loan. They want to make it affordable and $25 is, is certainly, you know, if you're a homeowner, that's got to be an affordable amount. Can be up higher than that, obviously. Uh, the goal is to pay it off as soon as you can, um, you know, within your means. So there's, but there, the, the uh, good thing about the programs is flexibility in how it works. All right, the Making Home Affordable Program. So this is what Sue was was uh, mentioning there probably are people this is in the this federal program. program. This the is federal the program just announced program. about three weeks ago. Okay, so this is it's uh, this has really changed the whole uh, scene when it comes to dealing with foreclosures. We're not exactly sure how it's going to to uh, pan out because things of this process is just starting. But the uh, the idea behind it is that it's going to be able to help you know, many, many people who are, you know, who are in different types of situations with their mortgages, uh, either through a refinance or through a loan modification. So it's a two-part program. <coughs> the refinance, and are, there is some, I think there's some information up there. If, if you need to talk to me specifically about this um, afterwards, you know, please feel free to, to, to stop me. But uh, makinghomeaffordable.gov, that's something that you should write down and check out. Uh, it's a two-part program, as I said. Refinance is a, a part of the program where if you aren't late on your mortgage and you're upside, but your property value is upside down. So meaning, you know, we mentioned earlier that you're in a situation where, you know, you pay a couple hundred thousand for the property. Five years later, it's only worth your three quarters of that, but you're still making those payments. And it's a and it's a, a, a bank uh, or it's a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac loan, so it's a government insured or backed loan. If you fit those criteria, then this is going to be very very helpful because the government is saying they're saying we will refinance it. They're not just saying it, it may happen. They're saying we will. And if you want to know if you have a Fannie or a Fannie or Freddie loan, here on this screen sheet are the websites and phone numbers for Freddie and Fannie.